Hey there, Paul. It's Brian here from Georgetown Kia. Just wanted to send you a quick video of the brand new Kia Sorento SX. Uh, the one you saw in the ad was obviously a different color. I have quite a few of these available at the moment. Sorry, it's a little snowy. Um, I wanted to bring it inside here too because it is freezing outside today and uh, give you a little grand tour of this beautiful vehicle. So of course we have the power tailgate. This one here is the seven seater model. So in the back, lots and lots of storage space when the seats are down. One quick little pull of this magic handle here brings your third row up and you have the adjustable headrest here too. So that obviously creates the capability of seating for seven if and when you need it. But obviously with that folded down, you still have quite a bit of usable space in the car. Coming around here to the driver's side. So the SX, I hope you know, has a completely unique body package on the outside. You get completely different bumpers front and back. Uh, the LED light bar tail lights, which are pretty funky. I can't show them to you now because I can't obviously run the car in the shop. Uh, you've got 19 inch alloy wheels as well. First time that 19s have ever been available on the Sorento, as well as the full body color trim, which goes all the way around the wheels down the side here. On the regular Sorento, that of course is textured black plastic. So this is a lot more attractive uh, with the body color. And then on the bumpers, you do get the stainless steel skid plates down at the bottom here too. Give it a little bit more of a sportier look and the chrome surrounds for the fog lights as well as a completely unique grill, which has the gray background instead of the black. Again, to kind of contrast and call this out as a little bit more of a upgraded model. I can tell you that uh, I know this vehicle very well because my own mother actually drives this exact truck and she absolutely loves it to bits. It's actually her second Sorento. Here on the door, you'll see the little button for your smart key, proximity entry. So here's your key. Okay, you can use it like a regular key if you'd like and use the buttons the old school way, but if the key is on your person, you just push the button here. The car will recognize that and it will lock or unlock accordingly and allow you entry into the beautiful redesigned interior. You've got the nice wood grain trim that goes all the way around the dashboard. Uh, over here you'll see your seat memory. Okay, two different settings, so if you're sharing the car with somebody else, you can uh, set yourself comfortably and just push the button to get you back. Instead of spending 10 minutes trying to find exactly where you were before, you've got power folding side view mirrors here too, and the full Infinity sound system with some extra speakers and a subwoofer for that added surround sound. Driver's seat is power with adjustable lumbar support, and your passenger seat in the SX is power as well. That is actually the only model, I believe, that gets the power passenger seat. So we're going to hop in here. And you'll see, again, I can't start the car, but I'm going to put it into accessory mode here. Now watch your gauge cluster. That little center gauge there, your speedometer, is actually digital. That is not a gauge, it's actually a computer screen that is set up to kind of approximate what a gauge looks like. Uh, but it's really neat because you can go through using your vehicle menu buttons and show a bunch of different information such as your audio, uh, your navigation turn by turn directions. So you have them all close at hand on this screen. Keep your eyes on the road. And uh, with the voice command that we have now with our navigation, it's simply incredible. You hit the button right here. Please say a command after the beep. Find address in Ontario. Find address in Ontario. Please say address without state name or say change state. Cancel. She's a little cold, so it takes her a while. But Cancel. Anyways, I'm not going to go through the whole thing right now. That would take, uh, obviously, a lot more time. But you get the idea. This is one of the, actually, it is the best navigation system that Kia has ever had. It's been completely redesigned for 2015 with a much easier to use interface, much uh, better laid out maps. Uh, a much cleaner design. Uh, it's a lot easier to use, a lot easier to see. And uh, with the voice command, it just opens up a whole world of possibilities. You can literally control your destination entirely using your voice. So again, keep your hands on the wheel, keep your eyes on the road, and don't distract you. Down here we got dual climate control. And of course in the SX, you not only get heated seats, but you get air conditioned seats for the summer. Uh, this black leather does get a little warm and uh, the cooling is actually quite nice with the perforated leather. It allows the air conditioning to pass through the seat and actually cool your body as you drive. Down here we've got the USB auxiliary inputs, a couple of power outlets. You've got the new shifter, which is now with a button. It's a straight back and forth. We used to have a dog leg type shifter before. It wasn't that popular. I actually like this one a lot better myself. And uh, the car not only has a backup camera, 
on the screen, but you've also got the uh, proximity sensors in the back. So if you get close to bumping into something, it will warn you ahead of time. Uh, the active eco button there will give you better fuel economy. If you use it correctly in the in the right scenarios, um, can increase your fuel efficiency by a little bit. And then we've got a funky little button right here too. That's your uh, adjustable steering control. I know the uh, resolution on this camera isn't the greatest, but this button right here will give you control over your three different steering modes. You've got normal, you've got sport, and you've got comfort. That will either add or take weight away from the steering pulse so that you can uh, get a little tighter if you want a sportier feel or a little looser if you're on the highway and you just want to cruise. Uh, as well on this model, and I can feel it now, it's nice, it's already heating up. You've got a heated steering wheel right here. And of course, the intelligent all-wheel drive in this car is phenomenal. You don't really have to worry about anything. 99% of the time, the car's going to be in front-wheel drive mode, give you the best fuel economy, but when it detects slippage, it will take the power and send it to the back as much as 50-50 to get you out of a sticky scenario. And uh, brand new for 2015 as well, I should note, is the blind spot detection. So on your rearview mirror, there's a little light that will illuminate if there's a car in your blind spot. If you do happen to hit the turn signal and that light is illuminated, maybe you didn't notice it, the car will start to audibly beep to warn you that there is a car in your blind spot. Uh, heated rear seats too in this car, I should say. So if you have kids or anybody that's going to be riding in the back, they can definitely keep their buns warm too. Why should the front passengers have all the fun? Uh, of course, the absolutely beautiful panoramic sunroof. Now there's some condensation of course because I'm in the shop but you can see the power sunshade literally goes all the way back on the old Sorrento the sunroof was actually separate and you had two separate sunshades it was a little bit of a pain this one's nice uh, only the front piece of glass here will be the one that moves of course but even still it's rather large and uh, when the sun rays are back out in April or May you can open that up and enjoy it's all automatic too, as you can see, one touch and it goes all the way back. If you want to stop it halfway, you simply hit the button again and it'll stop if you only want to have it open a little bit. And I like what Kia's done here too. They gave the shade and the roof their own separate controls. So some of our competitors, the roof and the shade are on the same control, meaning that when you open the shade, if you don't want the roof to open too, you have to keep your hand on the button and make sure you hit it again before the roof starts to open. So kind of neat that they thought of that extra little step there to separate them. And uh, I'm going to jump in the back really quick here. There's one more thing I really want to highlight for you. Uh, again, I'm not sure what kind of cargo you're going to be carrying in the car. But Kia is one of only two vehicles that I know of on the market, SUV-wise, that has, I'm sorry about the camera angle here, the 20% pass-through. So most cars have the 60-40 split fold. This one actually has the little one in the middle here. So if you want to have both of the outside seats up, and carry some people you can still pass skis or lumber or anything like that through the middle and not have to worry that sitting there is of course your privacy shade for the back so i mean this car obviously paul you probably wouldn't be looking at it if you didn't know that it had a lot to offer i mean this vehicle as far as i've read i've been with kia for about five years now i knew from the get-go that kia's value proposition is simply second to none here i want to show you the light bar taillights here too but with this new Sorento and all the new features that it has, I mean, literally, you have more features on this car than you have on some Lexus vehicles, Infiniti vehicles, etc., that are obviously thousands and thousands of dollars more. So you see here with the light bar taillights, it gives you the illusion of somewhat like a neon tube. It's actually a continuous piece of light. What it is is uh, LEDs behind a frosted piece of glass, so it diffuses the light and gives you that illusion as if it's a, a solid continuous piece of light. Pretty impactful. You can see the light signature at the back here is uh, very hard to mistake. So everybody knows you got a Sorento and the SX, as I said, is the only model with the light bar taillights. So you know what, Paul? The car's got a lot to offer. I want to show you in person and uh, allow you to take the vehicle for a test drive, of course, too, so you can really experience all that it has to offer firsthand. So give me a call. It's Brian here at Georgetown Kia 905-877. 7818. Just for your records, Paul, I will be off tomorrow. That's Tuesday, January 6th. Uh, but I will be back in the office on Wednesday. You can give me a call at any time or respond to my email and we'll go from there. Hope you're having a great Monday, sir. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.